Hey, it's Ole, and I am now in my residence. So I got put into Bernays West for my residence, and these are double rooms. So I didn't get a single room, unfortunately. I would have preferred a single room, but it's a double room. Um, just taking a look around the room. Right, it's, uh, you got two beds here. It's decently spacious. It's not too clustered, but um, I hear that Nelly's block, well, I went to visit Nelly's block and I said that that's a bit more spacious if you only have two people in there. If it's three people, it's gonna get a little cramped. Um, so around the room, our fridge here, stacked on top of a drawer. So these are our closets and they, they lock as you can see. So this is my closet. I didn't choose to lock yet, but I have my uniform, my towels, and anything that I need in there. Uh, I have a fan um, that I brought over because it gets hot in these rooms. There's no AC. There's this thing right here, like a small little thermometer, and you may think you can control the AC, but these buttons don't do anything really. Um, ceiling, pretty old ceiling, popcorn ceiling. And yeah, so these are the beds. They're quite small, actually. Um, my feet hang off the edge of the bed, just ever so slightly. So they're, I would say these are, oh, what's the, what's the thing? Twin size, yeah, twin size. Or like the regular size, or yeah, I think twin size. So yeah, um, this is my view out the window, right there. So it goes into there. And you see the other building, Bernays East. That's Bernays East. And then out there, you see like the volleyball court, the rest of the base, and actually some water. So that's really nice. Um, these buildings, as you can see, they have this little small window here. It has um, like the netting on it to prevent bugs, but then it barely opens. Actually, it only opens, that's the max it can open really. So you won't get a lot of airflow coming through there. Um, TV over here, it's connected to cable box. Or should be connected to the cable box. Where's the cable box? I don't know. Okay, interesting. Um, there's supposed to be a cable box with the TV, but this TV also seems like it's disconnected. Actually, you know what? There is like a cable down there for like um, for satellites, probably TV. So yeah, there's that TV. There is a lounge um, somewhere else, and I will go show you that later. But this is my setup. I kind of got my stuff over here i haven't made the bed yet and this is my like just my stuff miscellaneous things and then i have my packages here my my two duffel bags normal bag and my suitcase right there yeah so it's not too bad um i actually had to switch room this is 302 right now but I was actually in three o um four o four earlier, and even before that I was in five o nine, so we had kind of sort of a mix up. So I came here, um, I got five o nine immediately, uh, I got five o nine at first, but when I went into that room, there were two other guys in the room. I was just passed out, passed out. And like I look in there and it's all dark, it smells of it smells of sweat and there's like fans on and it's like 25 degrees in there and they got their like gaming PCs all set up. They got like a flat screen TV right there and it's yeah the room just looks like it's set up and it's been lived in. So I'm wondering, wait, did they give me the wrong room? Because there can't be three people per room. It's two beds, right? So there's just two guys and two beds and and I go in there. I'm like, hello, excuse me. Don't wake up, they're passed out, they're out cold. So yeah, I, I go I go back, I tell them, yeah, you gave me the wrong room. So they couldn't switch it. So for the night I had to stay with a friend, luckily. Luckily I had a friend that I knew that uh, came here with me, like basically the exact same time, but he's from uh, Montreal. But anyways, he lets me uh, stay in the room. So that was four or four I got to stay in. But turns out someone was actually renting that room, but they just weren't there, like they just, didn't regularly use the room. They had like some place off base probably, and because their their uniform was in the closet when I got there, so I had to leave that room because you know someone's still in there, and so I got this new room. Uh, hope was hoping for a singles, but you know we got a doubles, and uh, what can you do? Hopefully the roommates um, 
nice and neat and uh, clean and everything but i haven't met them yet actually so i've been i've been here uh and then they uh, they haven't uh, arrived yet probably still uh, on the they go out and about right but I'll, I'll meet them and then uh I'll say hi to them and then yeah um yeah but we figured out the room stuff just a small mix up with like getting the rooms yeah well, from from my buddies uh they were fine with their rooms like they first one they just got it so sometimes you're just unlucky and sometimes i'm just unlucky so yeah that's the room right there and then i'll show you like the lounge and the washroom later all right i'll see ya So coming out of here, I got like the, this nice view of the water outside. So this is the hallways, as you can see, I'm tucked away in kind of like the back section of all this. And so we can come down here and this is an exit right there. But over here, there's another window, just a view of some rocks over here is where our washroom is. So this one is a shower and um, bathroom. Hello, anyone in here? No one in here. So yeah, this is one of them. Shower and bath. Right, so the bathroom right here. In here. A bathtub action which I don't plan on using because I usually just shower and bathtubs are not very sanitary if you think of all the people who go in there anyways there's a shower so you get a little changing room right here and then you go into the showers and you have this little curtain right here yeah so it's kind of small the space it's kind of dark Go down here, we have our lounge, right? Rinse board and everything. Each floor has their own lounge and it's a bit different on each floor. But if you wanna watch TV, you're free to watch TV here. If you're staying for a long time um, and you like the game, I recommend maybe bringing your PlayStation because these TVs, they do have HDMI. The Wi-Fi is pretty good, so Bring maybe a gaming console, connect it, and you can play on your free time. Yeah, that's that. Over here, we got another washroom. Again, on each floor, the layout's pretty similar. Yeah, just a pretty small washroom. Right. Okay. Laundry room. Still bad, no one's in here. Yeah. So we get a dryer and washer laundry center. Another one over here. And then you got your cleaning supplies that you can use if you want to get a bucket and a mop. And then vacuum. Ironing boards, of course, because we're military. Yep, that's laundry room. Each floor has one, so if one is taken up, use another floors. Um, again, this is another, the other washroom. You got nice paper towels you can use. You got soap, uh, fortunately. All right, this one is different color scheme, but basically the same thing. Slightly different layout. Or sinks to use and then you go back here that I'm not gonna open again that's the door to like the bathtub but basically that's that again your shower places right 
then we go inside. That's the exit. So this building is five floors. Oh, one up, two up there, right? So we're on the third floor right now. Floor one is like basement kind of, floor two is like a ground level. Yeah. And yeah, that's how it works. And then actually downstairs, let's go take a look. Downstairs is where you get your linen. So like your you know your ground floor, floor two. Don't get stuck. So yeah, you have your um, office right there in case you need anything. Um, maybe you left it locked out of your room. You go there. Over here, second floor. There's linen exchange. Dirty linen goes here. We have some single uh, linen. You can just grab it from here and then clean linen sheets. Grab it from here, right? Yeah. Vending machines, if you're interested in that. They provide food, of course, but if you ever need a snack, and then we have a nice little linen room stacked away in here. Yeah, where they have a bunch more linen. And it's all cleaned by the base, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Um, other than that, floor two, same thing as here. It's like same, basically the same layout. And then, yeah, that's it. That is Bernays block. All right, see ya. Hey, it's Olay, Mr. Anderson. Right now I am heading to my clothing store's appointment and just walking through the base. Over here we have some volleyball courts, gym up there. And back here, as you can see, that's uh, Bernays, Bernays East and West, and then over back here, we have a, uh, well, I guess, water area. I don't know, this is a uh, little bay in here. So, yeah, just looking out there. Uh, we have the ships down there, and there's uh, the jetties. And yeah, I'm just gonna head over to my appointments right now. Yeah. Not a bad day today, actually. It's, uh, we got some cloud covers, so not as sunny. And we got like the breeze coming in, so that's that's really nice. Um, a lot of geese, a lot of geese, a lot of seagulls, of course. But yeah, just a lot of geese. And out of my like in my room, you can just hear them like honking outside, and it's like, oh man. But there is like a family of geese outside. Uh, um, and the geese, who, uh, they have like it's like two parents and then four little ducklings. I don't know if you call them ducklings, but poor little, you know, babies. It's pretty cute. Yeah, they just like kind of walk around, cross the street, and everything. Um, but yeah, I definitely do want to explore the place. I haven't even explored the whole base yet, so I want to do that for another rise myself, maybe with all the entrances and exits. And then I might go explore outside of the base, probably this weekend when I have time. So. Yeah, that's that for now. All right, I'll make it to my appointment and I'll see you there. Yeah. Hey, uh, I don't know what just happened, but uh, I was walking back from clothing stores all the way from the dockyard and I'm just walking and some uh, another member stops by uh, beside me and asks me where you go headed seems like he was heading the same direction and he gave me a ride all the way back here saved me such a walk I, I know it was uh, some s1 I, I really appreciated that I mean you know things like that just like the, the little little things the small things he saw me carrying like a box and he just checked up on me I think mean, things like that are really commendable right there. And I really appreciated that. Yeah, it's just, you know, small acts of like kindness in your day. That's, 
wow yeah I, I i didn't expect that but you know that i feel like people like that definitely deserve to be you know in leadership positions because they understand what their own troops are kind of facing and they understand like just to be kind i guess yeah i feel like that's uh it's really commendable right there i really appreciate that all right let me head upstairs and oh i'm so happy i didn't have to walk all the way back there yeah yeah thanks for that guy yeah it was amazing right see ya